price floor price floor is another form of government intervention to regulate prices instead of letting market forces determine prices a price floor is a legal minimum price set on goods and services usually determined by the government this makes it illegal for any company or individuals to sell its goods or services below the set minimum price in turn it can provide a boost to the suppliers and sellers who may achieve a higher income as a result price floor is the most effective when that's at about the equilibrium point this would force prices to increase from existing equilibrium to the desired price an effective price floor causes a surplus in the market yet if the price floor was set at below the equilibrium it, it would have no effect for example the iphone sells for around dollar 699 yet if the price floor was set at dollar 500 below the equilibrium it would have no effect if the price floor was set at 800 instead it would benefit apple as it would be selling at a higher price however fewer customers will purchase the high iphone as a result meaning the actual profit it receives may in fact be lower this results in an economic surplus whereby more goods are supplied than demanded minimum wage law common example of price floor the common example of price floor is minimum wage which prevents individuals from selling their labor for less than a certain amount per hour minimum wage may increase the unemployment rate a clear dead weight loss in cases when employers who need to hire employees are unable to pay the minimum wage minimum wage which is based on the normative view that someone working full time ought to be able to afford a basic standard of living as the cost of living rises over time the congress periodically raises the federal minimum wage other countries such as france and britain have much higher minimum wages consider the example of a minimum wage law in california imagine the minimum wage is dollar 8 per hour if a company wants to pay someone dollar 10 per hour then there is no problem because this price is above the floor however if a company wants to pay an employee dollar 6 per hour then there is a problem because this amount is below the price floor the latter example would be a binding price floor while the former would not be binding a minimum wage creates unemployment figure 1 illustrates the market for fast food servers in yuma arizona on this demand curve the quantity of fast food servers demanded is zero at the wage rate of dollar 10 an hour they would re- they, they would replace servers with vending machines but at wage rate below dollar 10 they would hire servers on the supply side of the market no one is willing to work for dollar 2 an hour to attract servers firms must pay more than dollar 2 an hour equilibrium in this market occurs at a wage rate of dollar 5 an hour firms would hire 5000 people as servers so this is the picture you can see inefficient price floor or non binding price floor if the government introduced a minimum wage below dollar 5 an hour nothing would change the reason is that firms are already paying dollar 5 an hour and because it exceeds the minimum wage wage rate paid doesn't change firms continue to hire 5000 workers this is an inefficient or non binding price floor but the aim of a minimum wage is to boost the incomes of low in wage earners so in the market for the low paid workers the minimum wage will exceed the equilibrium wage efficient price floor or binding price floor suppose that the government introduces a minimum wage of dollar 7 an hour figure shows the effects of this law wage rate below dollar 7 an hour are illegal in the figure it is a region below the minimum wage the quantity of labor demanded decreases to 3000 workers and firms lay off 2000 workers as a result of uh, increased minimum wage but at the wage rate of dollar 7 an hour 2000 people who didn't want to work for dollar 5 an hour will now try to find work as service now quantity supplied increases to 7000 people with 2 2000 workers fired and another 2000 looking for work at a higher wage rate 4000 people who would like to work as servers are unemployed 